Hello and welcome everyone to another video series of Expert Matters only on ISBR's official YouTube channel. Today we have one of the best HR consultant amongst us. The man sitting right next to me is an army officer who has served in high altitude regions of Ladakh, especially in Kargil and Siachen Glacier. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's welcome Captain Manmeet Singh with us. Welcome, sir. Welcome Thank to you our official thing. YouTube channel. So, initially, we all want to know what is the story behind this transformation from army into the corporate? Shruti, I've been, uh, you know, in the army mm -hmm. at the time. I'm a short service commission officer. So, being a short service commission officer, we have an option of either serving in the army or I can actually move on and make my own career or do something on my own. I decided wow. that after five years, I wanted to be on my own. Mm -hmm. So at the time, after despite serving in all the places, it was time to do something different. And I right. chose a corporate life after that. Mm -hmm. So let me just tell you, let me just tell all the viewers watching this video right now that Sir has served in army for five years and he has served in high altitude regions. Let's talk about HR today. HR department which is growing, booming and taking so many heights from recent trends. Sir, after the pandemic, HR has boomed. All the departments in HR, the uh, job opportunities in HR, everything is boomed. So, sir, what is your opinion on that? Shruti, I look at it in a different way. I'll tell you, uh, after the army, I was part of the corporate life. Mm -hmm. I worked with ITC hotels, with HCL systems, and I was looking after the HR function at Oracle India. Uh -huh. Till the time I decided my journey for just HR. Mm -hmm. So, today when I look at from the market opportunity or otherwise also, Yes, what the market was two years earlier, it is not the same. Post lockdown, life was actually very, very difficult. Now, post lockdown, opportunities, market is actually opening up. And when market is opening up, actually, now it is a time, I think people have been talking about that there is so much of attrition which is happening. Yes. It's more of a musical chair. Almost 50% in any organization churn is happening. So I think it's a very, right. very exciting time. Mm -hmm. People can really make nice careers. People are looking for a change. And I think they're fed up sitting at home. They want to do something different. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, sir, so, uh, if a normal person looks into HR or if a student like me, uh, so many students these days look as HR into so many competitions. Uh, for example, if you ask someone, if you go to a student and ask someone, okay, what is an HR? He has a particular opinion that HR are specifically domained into uh, organizing competition, first into an organization. But the department is much more be, uh, beyond that. So let's just give our viewers the clarity of what is HR specially. Are you really talking about something about employee relations kind of stuff? Yes, pastor? exactly. I think it's a very, very minuscule part mm -hmm. of the employee relations. Very, very minuscule. And I don't think so you can really make a career in this. Though it is an important part, it's morely to be important from a cultural perspective that you can bring a culture, you can actually uh, engage, bond people with this. But there's much more to this. Mm -hmm. So if I have to look into from an HR angle, HR is all about, first is training and development, mm -hmm. that how do I ensure my future leadership, how to do it, am I able to hire the right set of people, when the right set of people is there, do I have right policies, processes, systems for them or not, so do I have the right competencies, which are the right people, who will fit, fit the bill, who are the people who will actually will be moving up the ladder, so I have to identify all of these things, mm -hmm. so net net if I say so, the typical role for a college student like you, uh -huh. one is the business HR, uh -huh. which you guys can look at. Uh -huh. Second role is about if somebody is good in numbers and analytics, uh -huh. can look at comp and benefits. Very, right. very important and believe me, uh, a guy can actually really go up the ladder and make tons of money also in this. It's a highly paying job, okay? Oh, wow. You can also look at it into HR operations, okay? Uh -huh. So. HR operations, somebody is very, very keen that I want to motivate people, I want to change the people. Training and development is, I think, another way of looking at it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there are so many sectors developing into HR, so many uh, different dimensions of HR. A lot of verticals, growing. yeah. Yes, within, yes. within the HR, different verticals are there. Mm -hmm. So I feel that whenever you guys are even thinking of it, do think about it, which are the verticals which will suit you. Uh -huh. So start with a more of a generalist HR and then uh -huh. I think you can look at the specialization thereafter. Oh wow. From day one it's tough. Uh -huh. Because the moment you land up in a corporate, they're going to give you all random jobs, recruitment, sourcing of CVs, identifying, 
then payroll, more to do with uh, ESI, PF, uh, compliances, basically which is not so exciting job per yes. se, okay? But I think somebody has to do it. So if you don't do it, then you can't even go up. So you have to do all of these jobs. Yes. So, sir, I wanted to ask you, hospitality is booming after the pandemic. All the pharmaceutical companies and all the hospitals are on a great raise. So, is there any job opportunities for HR and hospitality and uh, pharmaceutical you see, sector? You see, you should look at, as a student, you should look at sectors, which are mm -hmm. the sunrise sectors. Yes. So, today, if I look at that, which are the sunrise sectors? One is your healthcare. Mm -hmm. Pharma is another one your IT, especially artificial intelligence. Yes. Robotics. We're talking about Go Green is another word, okay? Can we look into these areas, right? Okay. Power sector is another one. Manufacturing is, I think, very, very booming, okay? So you need to identify what you love to do, okay? So try and make an impact in that and choose that particular career. Mm -hmm. I was actually coming on to the part of artificial intelligence. I wanted to ask you, so we students don't have much clarity upon technical development, but we have always heard about the fact that technological development comes into computer and IT sector first. But now after the pandemic, all the technological development and upgradation have entered into HR as well. So there are too many trends in HR these days. So what are those trends? Can you give us a little brief about that? You see, if you look at lockdown, I will only say, has HR stopped? Everyone worked online, right? Okay, mm -hmm. it's a very, very positive sign. So technically from the compliances to training and development to motivating people, I think HR has all online right now. So automation is a key thing. And typically we are able to make use of technology. And I think I'm very happy HR is able to make use of technology. This way. Yes. So we have talked about job opportunities, different sectors, what are the upskills requirement, what are the current requirement in HR and all the trends as well. But now I wanted to ask you, what are the skills a candidate or a student should have in themselves to become an HR manager someday? I feel you need to be a people's person, number one, very important. And as I shared with you, you all are HR guys. I'm sure your college is already teaching you into that. Just jump into the pool and I think even if you don't know how to swim, swimming will happen automatically. So the company which you're going to pick up, they're going to give you all the jobs. So try and learn all the aspects which are there, whether even it's a menial job, which you may not like it, but I think it's very, very important. Within three, four years, pick up your specialization, get into vertical and I think make a great career in that. Mm -hmm. So sir, one more thing, all the students are looking into the CTC part of HR. In any department, for example, if a candidate enters into a management or a B school, everybody is looking into placements and CTC they would have after a period of time. So what is the highest paying job in HR? I would use, I would like to answer in a different way. Mm -hmm. CTC has got no role. You should pick up a right company because after, even if it's a CTC not so great, pick it up and pick up a great role which you are getting, get exposure in that. Once you do that, within two, three years, your salary is going to be phenomenal. I don't think so. You should look at CTC in any way. Yes. As of now, get into a specialization mode after a while. That's more important. Pick up a right company, right sector, where you can make a, you know, somewhere mark in this. Exactly. So, sir, the basic objective behind this whole video series is to make students, especially the management students, give them a particular broader perspective and clarity about what are the job opportunities and skills they require into a particular specialization. I would say to the students that, have you ever looked at that in HR, has somebody made policies, processes? If not done that, I think you better do these. If somebody is doesn't know how to make competency mapping, okay? Obviously, it'll be very tough. People learn only after 10 years of experience, but I think get exposure in how to do competen competency mapping. Look into that, how salaries are processed, okay? Look into something, how joining and induction is being done, what goes on. I think you asked me, you know, in the beginning, employer relations. I think you need to move out from employer relations, get into this. What does benefits entail? What does the composition entail? Do you have a uh, have you done a comparative study between the sectors? What kind of a salaries? What are the various bands which people are having? What salaries they're getting? What is the career path? 
so what is the organogram what is the org structure how it is if you really as somebody asks you to make a org structure what all will go into that i think get more exposure in that that will make a holistic hr of you guys mm -hmm, right so sir uh, as a student uh, one should look at ctc or the company you have cleared that doubt mm -hmm. for sure but now when there is a comparison between a truly established firm and a startup, so what should a candidate prefer for his or her personal growth? If you pick up a startup, I feel go for it. Reason being, what people will learn in 10 years, in a startup you learn in 2 years, and then go to a bigger company, bigger setup, and make a mark over there. Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, we have come to the end, almost end of the video. Now we would like to ask you the one liner motivation tip to everybody you would like to give everybody watching this video right now. I would say go with your gut. Whatever you feel nice about it, you want to do, never leave your real self. Don't do any comparative comparison with what this guy is doing it, my other peers are doing it. I think all of us are very, very unique. Mm -hmm. And I think God has made us unique. Be what you are and look into that, that HR can give you this, carry on with that.